Part B, um, use the data in the table to evaluate the integral, the definite integral from 0 to 20 of w prime of t dt. Using correct units, interpret the meaning of this in the context of the problem. So what I see here is I have an integral of a derivative, okay? So the integral from 0 to 20 of w prime of t dt. So let me write that down. Integral from 0 to 20 of w prime of t dt. And we know that if we have an indefinite, or sorry, a definite integral of a function, it will be equal to the antiderivative evaluated from 0 to 20. So I'll put that 0 to 20 here. We also know that the antiderivative of the derivative of w, it, one of them is just w itself. There are others by um, adding on any arbitrary constant, but w of t is the antiderivative of w prime of t. It's one of them. Okay, so um, I not just need to evaluate w of t from 0 to 20, or w of 20, minus w of 0. Okay, and looking back at our problem, we can see that w of 20 is 71.0 degrees Fahrenheit. W of 0 is 55.0 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's go back. So this will be equal to 71.0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 55.0 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equal to let me make sure I'm doing this math correctly, 16 degrees Fahrenheit. And the next part, again, like the last problem, um, interpret the meaning of this in context of the problem. Well, um, what this integral tells me um, is it gives me the change, it gives me the overall change in the temperature um, from time 0 to 20. This is the rate of change. When we integrate, we get the change in that. So this means that, um, let me do this way. So the integral from 0 to 20 of w prime of t dt measures the actual change in temperature from time t equals 0 to t equals 20. And it actually means that the temperature has increased by 16 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not how you make 16. That's how you make 16. Okay, 16 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's what this means in the context of the problem.